Hello everybody. The last time we were in Orkoga Castle and there are still some things we need to do here. For example, there was a room with enemies which I couldn't kill yet. So let's find that room. Not sure where it was. I need to get down somewhere. On the floor of the corridor. I wonder if it was. As you can see, I leveled up a bit. I got a spear plus two here. Just so that I don't die the whole time. Also, we need to do the prisons here. But I don't have a key yet. Ah. Okay, so this was the room where we kept dying. Okay, let's let's try this. But first, we need to heal up. Inside the barracks stand poised a horde of feisty gorm. I had I have a new spell here. It's conjuration. That's really good spell because it will summon a monster for you. So let's take the largest monster here. Okay, let's try again. Maybe next time it will less. <coughs> Hopefully this time we have less monsters. Inside the barrack. Okay, 
Okay, that's better. But I don't know if it will work this time. It's all luck based.
Okay, that worked. Let's save. And let's see what we have. This looks like something we could use. Why not? I have a, s a small idea. Maybe I can put a bell now. Up a bit so that she can use this staff to attack. But I probably need to wait until we fight. And then I could put the ninja somewhere in the last rank
Okay, let's let's move on. Nothing to see here. And I had an armory key, so we can use that. Inside the armory are racks of spears, lances, bows and arrows, and along the far wall are bundles of old leather coverings. Those are a lot of spears. items here.
too many items. this guy minus seven and this is minus five so this is better armor I have so many items here, I cannot see what I'm doing. That's this, minus 4, minus 5. Does anyone need a helm? Does, does this guy need a helm? Can probably give this to this guy. Let's see. This is a minus three. Okay. Okay, I think we are good here. Except for these two things here we need to identify them identify what power these things have we can of, we can of course look on the internet let me look So we have a lance and a halberd. So the lance has damage of 1 to 12 minus 2. That's not very good. And the halberd. One till ten. Two hands. You can't use that. And this is not better than that. You cannot use that. And I don't want him to use this because the shield is needed. So probably we will just 
let it be here and the lens is also not that good Okay, we have everything here. Now the other room. In the far corner of the supply depot are a number of barrels and several crates. Inspecting the barrels, they contain pieces of a dried, horrid, brown, leathery-like substance, completely caked with salt. Sniffing one of the chunks of brown, your stomach immediately curdles. Investigating the crates next, you pry one open and discover jars filled with the organs and internals of animals immersed within a thick, oozing liquid. Dusting off the top of the crate, you discern markings. Okay, we got some monk meat. Do not know yet what to do with that. And we still don't have prison keys. Okay, but there is one place we should go back to. Ah. And that is here. But first, let's save up. So the last time I have used a polished plate here. On the floor of the corridor, you notice a few dark red Inspecting the bloody stains further, you detect small faded spots, as if diluted and washed by falling water droplets. Gazing upward, a small pinpoint of light glimmers from the ceiling. No doubt the leak has proven more resourceful than the roof patches. So there is light upwards, but I I didn't shine it on this door. So let's try it again while facing this door. So we use the polished plate. On a hunch, you reflect the leaking beam of light into the sanctum gate. And the door opens. Let's see what's in there. Okay, I want to move this person to here Okay, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the priest needs to move here. Uh. 
The sanctum appears to be a small meditation chamber, but quietly centered underneath the candles of the far wall sits a fluffy purple cushion surrounded by numerous symbols engraved upon the floor. Okay, so now Belner can attack. This guy can also attack. These guys can also attack. Um, but I don't want this guy to be here. So probably these two need to be interchanged. Okay, so there was a cushion here. Under the cushion you find a tiny indenture in which resides a red button. Let's leave it alone for now. Under the cushion you find... Okay, so Ingolf needs to move here. Now I would like Belnar to move here. Let's move here. <laughs> so this is okay, I think. Maybe Ingolf should go here. Move here. And I would like the ninja to move here. <laughs> so 
So this is probably the formation that I want now. <laughs> So we have the two healers in the background, at the fighters in front, including Belner with the staff, and the ninja has the, the, the this weapon, this lance. So everyone is now useful. Okay, let's save and then we can try try something out here under the cushion let's chant mantras mm. Mm. okay it doesn't do anything under the cushion you push the button a clatter of falling debris hits the floor with a crash I have the feeling that this weapon is not that great.
is not a very useful spell. It will hit only three targets and it's yeah there are better spells than sting bomb so we won't take that um, ripping rocks it's a group target damage spell it isn't really effective because it doesn't hit most of the group but yeah it ha it is a group damage spell so we can use this let's use this then then we have a damage spell in the earth area Okay, so here there's a secret passage here. 
Several years worth of uncollected garbage lies scattered about the floor, having been dumped when you errantly opened the cache. Apparently, Mukatos took the easy route to good housekeeping. Searching through the trash in the dead wizard's closet, you find a sealed parchment and a ring of keys. That's probably the prison key. And the prison was located here. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's start opening all the doors. You detect faint movements from within. Of course, I'm going to make sure that we are full health. Actually, use. That should be doable. That was pretty easy. Okay. 
but there's nothing to find here. Okay, next one. Clumped in the corner, you find several bags of stores, most likely food to fatten up the unlucky captives. Okay, I'm not sure I can take everything here. I need to sell something. Can I merge things? You detect faint move. Let's do this. <laughs> this looks dangerous.
See what we got here. Ah, the lizard detects something. Okay, something happened. Not sure what. You detect faint. Okay, let's concentrate on this. These aren't too bad.
Let's rest. Another empty room, it seems. Then the last two. You detect faint move. Looks like another empty room. Okay, the last one. You detect faint move. Let's heal. Let's kill them quickly.
Okay, let's see if the poison can go away here first. I hope these are easy ones. These are not easy ones.
have saved. Okay, I see. Probably this opened with the secret button. Now we can pull this lever. And... Maybe something happened in one of these rooms. Uh, I see something here. Okay, that looks like a pit. So if you jump in a pit, you cannot jump out. So you better be prepared. I can use enchanted blade maybe. And let's try. The area is stinky and pungent, and judging from the foul deposits on the ground, could easily be mistaken for a sewer, were it not for the lack of running water. Okay, let's heal. We're not dead yet. I'm going to save this on another save file.
think I need to be leveling up a bit for this. So I think that's for the next video. Bye.